Welcome back again. Here we are working in the Pete's garage and busting up <laughs> this 347 project. Taking a little bit of a another bite of the elephant and uh, hopefully we'll get done soon. So again, we're waiting on some parts. So this doesn't require anything other than a lot of labor. Yep. So what we're doing, if you couldn't get a, a gist of it from the intro time lapse, uh, we just had to mock up the 347 crank and the block just put the old bearings in it for the moment took the rings off one of the pistons you know fitted the same one to every bore it's all going to be standardized turned it over and marked out where we needed to uh, to relieve the block and uh, use my electric grinder yeah and very good it was too yeah, hogged it out real quick just ran a, a smaller burr and then a, a little stone over everything to round everything over and uh, this thing needs a big clean. <laughs> the floor is filthy. You got to sweep up before we go back together and mock it up for the second time. Make sure everything's in a clear for sure. Yep. And then, you know, the, the big clean and reassembly from there. So. Second time round I've done this. <laughs> but, yeah, if anybody hasn't followed this engine in the past when we kind of first started the channel let's bring you through the crates and show you what going back together with this thing all right here is yes. <laughs> your, the pistons and that for the 347 old school uh <laughs> man did you say old school i did <laughs> i finally broke him in <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be going back to the States saying old school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what was these? I'll put it up in the corner, but these are a unique length of connecting rod because back in the day when the shorker kits were still the hot ticket and new, they were... Uh, Probe Industries. Yeah, they yeah. didn't want the pin to intersect the ring land on the oil rings, so they lowered, they made the, the rods a little shorter, and uh, that's the way they organized it, so... But this isn't done anymore. All they do is have a support rail in there for the oil rings and a 5.4 inch long connecting rod and calls it good. So you have bits everywhere when you've got well, there's a, a, some. It's split. There's the crankshaft. Crankshaft. <laughs> and then we got a. Yeah, a big box of <laughs> lifters, rockers. Yeah, 172s. Was the old uh, Ford Motorsport ones? Yeah. Or SVO ones? SVO. Yeah, these, these the old SVO ones, 172s. The old. 3 8 inch stud. Yeah. So, then we have a Vector Junior intake, some stainless steel shorties, some Trick Flow 170s, and you know, a Pro Billet MSD distributor. Are we even, the oil pump is brand new. Yeah. Yeah, the oil pump is brand new. <laughs> well, not even runtime. I think it just had, <laughs> you know, just had some drive time. It did, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we will be uh, good to go with this one. Look at that. Look. Well, we will, not long, yeah, not long. It'll well, be all together. But the goal is mainly to get the short block together, even without this, the heads for now, just to get parts. Yeah. <laughs> out of the boxes, <laughs> out, out of the, of the drawers, drawers, in here. Out the front of the toolbox. Yeah. And then we could saran wrap it up if we want to. And it could, you know, be in a longer state of storage. But, yeah. Yeah, because I have got, I could sell the heads because I've got another set of cast iron heads in the shed. I wouldn't use them. We could just them. like, well, you know, it might have too much power with those heads on. <laughs> for the Bronco. No. Might break the gearbox. Nah. <laughs> you had Windsors in those ones too, so. Oh, cool. Yeah. And this is pretty much just going to be like 
a 351 Windsor just with a nice set of heads. Yeah. And who knows what kind of intake setup we're going to have on it exactly yet, but... Yeah, we don't know. We haven't decided that yet, have yeah. we? <laughs> That'll be another day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get this built first yeah. and then... Uh, the little panels stay off because we don't know what it, we're going to need for the Bronco or... Yep. If it's even going to go in the Bronco. Or, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's being built as a into the Bronco, but yeah. who knows further down the line. The 402 Windsor Stroker, part sit, sit dormant, you. waiting for the block to come back. Yeah, uh, so I'm ringing them Friday. Oh, yeah. See if I can give them a push. <laughs> I'm going to mention Mike's name. <laughs> <laughs> they do know me by name. Mike, Mike said. <laughs> well, there's the uh, peak garage snapshot for the Wednesday evening. John's not here. He said he was going to be late. I don't know if he's going to come at all. Yeah, but I, I just we'll can't. You can't rely on him, can you? It's just like, you know. <laughs> so, Mind you, nothing got broke tonight. So. That's true. That. <laughs> can you imagine letting him loose with the grinder? Oh, thing? my God. Well, that, no, I wouldn't have done <laughs> <laughs> of course, my mate Richard's going to be unhappy. He's not in the video. Oh, oh well. <laughs> so, uh, all right, finish right. up here. I'll bring you up for some uh, some other engine updates back in my garage here, and uh, we'll button it up for now. And I'll catch you in the next clip. So here we are, guys, back at the house. Uh, so I'm going to show you getting the 302 going again. This is. It's 99% final form, other than we're waiting on a different distributor to show up. But we got everything buttoned up, detailed. I even got a, an Autolite 4100 carburetor on that. I got the, one of the, it's one of the 1.12 inch Venturi models, so it's a 600 cubic foot per minute carb. So I got that on there with electric choke conversion. We got Pete's catalytic converters on here. So I can run it in the garage without gassing myself out. And uh, you know, I've got a nice detailed PCV line on here. Got the correct fitting. Yeah, we're gonna fire this up. This is, has not run in about two weeks now. So I'm gonna do it dead cold and see what it's all about. So, there we got power. Leave it two pumps. Mission on, and let's see how it likes that. I almost wanted to go. Got one more. Battery's kind of dead. Started squeaking a little bit there when I kicked the alternator in.
opens up and I can give it a couple blasts here. Yeah, that'll be up soon, and uh, well, stuck to the end. Thanks for sticking around, guys. See you in the next video.